Hello students, today we shall be discussing trade union. Now, uh, the industrial sector comprises of two classes or sections of society. One is the capitalist and the other is the labor class. Now, the capitalist provides money and management for the establishment of the industry. The capitalist buys the land, erects the building, installs the machinery and hires the labor for the establishment of an industry. He also plans the production and furnishes the requisite raw material. Now, after the completion of, of all these preliminary things, the labors are recruited. He uses the labor according to his plan and requirement for his projects and pays him a fixed wage as per the uh, whatever has been mutually agreed upon. Thus, the capitalist has the major say in the industry. Now, this kind of a scenario uh, led to an exploitation of the employees by the uh, employers or the capitalist or the management which has led to the birth of the trade union and it has introduced an era of government regulations and control over the employment relationship. Today unions are the part of the modern industrial society and constitutes of the stakeholders in industrial relations. Now let us go by the definitions. Some of the important definitions like uh, one definition given by V. V. Giri says that trade union are voluntary organizations of workers founded to promote and protect their interest by collective action. According to Edwin uh, B. Flippo, a labor union or a trade union is an organization of workers to promote, protect and improve through collective action, the social and the political interest of its member. So basically, trade union or the labor union is a continuous long-term association of the employees formed to promote, protect and improve the social, economical and the political interest of the members through collective action. Trade union can also be defined as a combination whether it is temporary or permanent formed for the purpose of regulating the relations between the workmen and the employer or between workmen and workmen or between employer and employer for imposing restrictive conditions on the conduct of trade or business and it includes a federation of two or more. So, from these definitions, we analyze that number one, trade union is a combination of worker and employers. Number two, this combination can be either temporary or permanent. And the third thing is, it can include a federation of two or more unions. And number four is, it regulates the relationship between the workmen and the employer or the employee and the employer. Now, the next thing is why do employees join trade union or what is the purpose of trade union? Now from the above discussion we have already come to know that trade union helps to secure, uh, protect and safeguard the interests of the uh, workers in various ways. Now some of the chief purpose of trade union are like number one it increases the cooperative feeling among the uh, workmen. So the first and the foremost task of the trade union is to promote friendliness among workers and bind them into a thread of fellowship and brotherhood. Because trade unions, uh, they provide forums for the workers to come together and discuss all their problems and their grievances. And beside discussing these problems connected with the job, the trade unions also provide an opportunity to play, relax and entertain for the uh, relaxation and entertainment of the workers. Second is securing facilities for workers. Now, the trade union also ensures that the working conditions of the workers are healthy and hygienic and there is mental and physical relaxation for the workers. They are interested only in getting the maximum uh, uh, um, from the uh, 
workers and this can be provided only when healthy conducive environment is provided apart from that toilet facility hygienic conditions of work canteen facility all these things are also important for uh, giving uh, for the workers to give their best so trade union agitate for the provision of these various facilities and see to it that they are provided by the employers Next is establishing contact between the worker and the employers. Now, trade union is such a platform which plays a very important role in bringing to the notice all the grievances or the problems faced by the employ uh, employees in front of the employers or the management. It arranges face-to-face -face meeting between the employer and the employees. Thus, better relations are established between employers and employees through the medium of trade union. Thank you.